you can all stop spitting feathers because it's time to make your cup of tea in the most scientific of ways. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the moment the national grid goes into meltdown. Because <laughs> everyone switches on their kettles. Talk us through the perfect... Baby. What are we doing when we boil a kettle? What's happening? Right, so here's a kettle. I'm just going to switch this on, on for now. Yeah. And then here's one that we've dismantled to show how it actually works. So we've taken all the stuff out the inside. All right. When you click it down on here, what's actually happening is this little device that slots in there closes the electrical circuit We'll have to speak a bit louder now because <laughs> the, the kettle's, kettle's beginning to boil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're allowed for this, have we? Carry on. It's a bit of a noisy kettle. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> um, so the electricity comes through the wire, through this device, and it flows into this thing which is called the element. Now, this element is made of metal with a very high resistance, which means when electricity flows through it, it gets really, really hot because it pushes back on the electrons, creating friction. That friction generates heat, and that heat is conducted straight into the cold water around yeah. the element. Right. Now, here's the cool bit, because the cold water is at the bottom, and because when water is, um, gets warm, it expands, that makes it less dense, and then it rises, and that a warm water now rises up through the kettle, setting up these kind of currents that flow through the kettle, which are called convection currents, which is why the element has to be at the bottom so that the hot water rises. And that's why, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but if you run a bath, you really need to put the hot water in first and then the cold so that it spreads evenly. Oh, if you right, put the, the cold hot water in, on the top, the cold stays You'll just the get a layer of hot at the, uh, at the top. And that's like if you go to the beach and you go in the sea and the sun has been shining on the sea all day, yeah. you'll get a layer of hot at the top and then your feet will be cold. Now, you can so, demonstrate I'm that, I'm going to demonstrate this, exactly. Right, right so I'm going to put this on, in case I make a mess. Um, yes, protect your frock. Don't worry <laughs> about, about these about things. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. Right, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some food colouring into these jars. Now, I'm going to put some red into those two. And I'm going to put some blue into those two. Yeah. Now, ideally, that will be almost boiled. Yeah, so well, it then... is just about. Do you want it turned off? No, it's all right. No, we no, need how that does it know when to stop before you get ah, that far? Ah, clever, yes. So at the top of the kettle, actually in the heating element itself, yeah. there's what's called a bimetallic strip, which is a strip of two metals, and when the water we reaches its boiling point, so 100 degrees, one of the metals expands faster than the other, so the strip actually bends and breaks the points of contact in the circuit, oh. shutting off the electricity. So it's, got, it's quite critical that that uh, type of metal does actually do that at the exactly. right temperature. So yeah. there's two metals yeah. on top of each other, yeah. so it's bimetallic, two metals strip, yeah. one expands faster faster than the other, because yeah. all metals expand when they get Turns hot, but at different rates. Just and then it twists like that and breaks the circuit. Like that. Like that. Just okay. like that. So do you want the hot water in there? Yes. So if we put the hot water in here, Mind I'm going to put some cold in as well, so it's not too hot. Right. A bit more? Yeah. OK. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So we don't want it too hot. OK, so I'm going to put yeah. yep. cold water it's fascinating. Into... It's like conjuring, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put cold water. I'm going to top that right to the top in one red yeah. and one blue. Yeah. <gasps> I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then this yeah. should be warm, yeah. but not too hot to handle. Is it? Right. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so that's going to be hot water in yeah. that one. And it's Again, just the right same. Right to the top. Right. And in that one. Now, if you pass me that bowl, All right. thank you. Yes. I'm going to. That's just so You're I don't make a mess. Not going to throw up or anything. Really. <laughs> that's for you. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Okay. So, using a very technical piece of uh, scientific equipment, which is my oyster card. Yes. I'm going to. Here's the uh, cold one. So I'm going to take the cold one and I'm going to put the hot. We've got blue about a one. minute. Is that all okay? Right? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to invert it. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to place that one over there. Yeah. Right. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm Now I'm going to do the same with this one. Now this one's hot. Here we've got cold. Here we've got hot. Yeah. Now we've got hot on the bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to do exactly the same. Yeah. And invert it over. Yeah. Look well, at that. would you look at that. So what you can see happening is the hot water yeah. rising up to meet the cold and to mix with the cold. There's convection currents going on in this one. Here, you've got the hot water on top, so this cold water isn't mingling and the colours aren't mixing. Yes. 
Well, there you are. Now, to make... <laughs> isn't that amazing? <laughs> well, to make a cup of tea, we need a couple more minutes, so I'll see you after this one. I'll be joined by the comedy actress whose latest sitcom sees her struggling with a job centre full of no-hopers, and that's just the staff. The job lot Sarah Hadland's coming up. We're going to make the tea, let it brew, and we'll be back momentarily. Thank <laughs> you.